I think curiosity has led the way with this project. How did whiteness become a thing? How did whiteness translate into power and money and authority? Privileges. This is the story of how skin became color, color became race, and race became power. The creation of the Caucasian, white Aryan. It's the story of how white became American. Tell us a little bit about the history of white people in America. The, the things we're seeing displayed on the national and international stage are a result of, of a fiction. In a lot of ways, it, it's a result of a fiction that white is right. And so the curiosity that goes underneath that construct and just interrogates, gee, how did, how did we get here? Right, right. How did the one drop of, of blood of color become something to be despised and used? One of the things that struck me immediately when I watched them too was Although I had a general sense of what was said in the, ser in the three that I've seen, um, you actually name names and give dates uh, yes. Yes. for things that are going on. And that was, that was a, certainly new to me, hearing the names and the dates for all of those things. Yes. Isn't that mind-blowing that it's history that's not taught? Oh, oh, yeah. That is so, that is so curious to me. And it's... It's on purpose. The information is there, it exists. How you interpret it is a whole nother thing. So mm -hmm, the narrative mm -hmm. around race has been quite different than what we see in this animated short. Now, even the fact that it's animated, I think is, is so brilliant. The animation gives us curiosity, playfulness, a way in, that is a little bit um, different than if it was, you know, a, a different style. I, I love the animation. They're asking me to embody Sally Hemings. On the one hand, giving you permission to sort of step into someone else's shoes as a woman. They respected my black womanhood enough to listen to what I had to say if I were in this, in this person's shoes. I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just. You know, first of all, first of all, let me just back up. So Sally Hemings bore children for Thomas Jefferson. That fact was in dispute for many, many years. Right, right. Is it possible for love? Because then another narrative was, was expressed that it was consensual that there was real love and real affection in that relationship. Mm -hmm. And I had to really ponder that. I had, to, I had to take a walk with that. I had to sit with that. Can love, as we understand it, be expressed in an institution of slavery? Mm -hmm. And after sitting with that in my mind, I came to the conclusion that it, it could not. Baby, baby, I'm morning, I'm morning, I'm morning, morning. Mama, tell me about my, tell me about my father, my father. I did my own research and came up with, with a very complicated, heart wrenching, um, um, not easily explained in a, a nice little sentence, you know, tumble of feelings around what Sally Hemings might have felt. You also were involved musically with the project too. Yes. I, I heard you, well, I heard your voice talking and I heard you uh, singing some yes. of the music in there too. Yeah. Yes. Um, Tell us a little about that music. Did you write any of that? Did you write that music or? That was a collaborative process, and it was improvisational. Oh. And, so, and oh. so we took many takes, and interestingly, sounds, utterances, growls, moans, all of those things that are kind of nonverbal, but not scat singing either. Even the 
way I phrased the words when I was reading the letter, uh, Thomas Jefferson's letter, where you put the emphasis, where you took a breath, um, where there was sadness or emotion in your voice or excitement or whatever, it was almost like voice acting in a way um, to, to be true to right. what was playing out on, on the visual. We hold, we hold, we hold, we hold, we hold these truths to be self-evident. In this time where there's a, a loud cry, uh, Black Lives Matter, matter um, what do you think the place of uh, this film uh, serves? What, what is the role that you see this film serving? That is an awesome question. That is an awesome question. So let's, let's, let's take the question and pose another question. If race is a made up thing, if it is a construction um, designed to distract us, designed to put certain people ahead and above others, if that's true, then a whole lot of other mountains of things we've been told have to fall. Race is difficult to talk about. Let's acknowledge that. But why right. yes. difficult to talk about? Yeah. That's yeah. another very powerful question. And if race is a construct, maybe we can all relax around it and have a constructive conversation about how we move forward. I think mm -hmm. it's, it's a, it's, it has the potential to unravel in a nonviolent way a lot of the things that, we, um, that we're fighting over. And I have a sneaking suspicion that when you keep digging, money and power are in there. And people are very, very reluctant to let go of that. Well, what I, what I seem uh, to uh, pick up from the film, and this is actually something I've said before, that the real reason for slavery was not race. The real reason for slavery was money and power. Mm -hmm. And uh, race helped sell um, the idea of uh, ju the justification of being a in uh, being able to in, uh, enslave a particular group of people. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. You know, history has a way of coming back to haunt you. Jefferson's own words are used in uh, in the episode. Give a clue as to what the man's real thoughts were about race. Sort of founding father. Um, a revered um, historical figure. And this is not to promote white guilt. I, I don't, I'm not into that. Right, right. I'm really not into that. I'm more into curiosity. Just be curious, because as long as you're in a box that keeps you safe, you feeling a little uncomfortable, good. Right. That's good. That means you may be doing something really strange, like linking one thought to another in a process right. of all thinking. Right. Maybe. You right. know, and that's, and that's good. Right. Uh -huh. we, we risk a little bit of discomfort in exchange for real lasting change. 